Namaste, lovelies. Welcome back. Um, we're going to start off in child's pose for this cross. So go ahead and find your comfortable child's pose. Hips to heels. And let the body relax in between the thighs. Take a full inhale through your nose. Even fuller. And then open mouth as we begin to settle in. Just take a few breaths here, dropping into our practice, into our class together today. I'm setting an intention for the next 30 minutes with your breath, your body on your mat. Allow your inhales to start to fill your lungs. Allow your exhales to empty further, dipping in and really allowing everything to just settle around you. Inhale. And exhale, empty. Take your next inhale, bring the hands all the way over to the right side. Reaching through with your left hand, then take your right hand down next to your feet. Take a full in-breath into the left shoulder, left lung. Press the, the rib cage into the skin. And then soften on your exhale. And then inhale sweeps. The right hand back up. Take a full in-breath as you come back to center. And then exhale, moving over the other way, reaching through with the right hand, taking your left hand down alongside of your legs, keeping your shoulders square to the mat, and breathing, inflating that right lung, right rib cage, almost as if it's going to pierce right through the skin, just stretching those intercostal muscles. Find center, come all the way back. Spread your hands nice and wide. And exhale, empty, soften shoulders. Spread your fingers. We're gonna come all the way up into downward facing dog. So shift forward into tabletop. We'll tuck the toes under, maybe even bring the shoulders in front of the wrists here, give a nice wrist stretch. And then press up and back, downward facing dog. Keep your knees really bent for this very first one. Very slowly, almost as slow as you can go, start to melt one heel at a time down in the direction of your mat. Just gently walking your dog, very, very slowly. A breath of softness moving through your body into the backs of the legs and with each and every pedal see if you can press your thigh bones to the back a little bit further engaging the navel to spine protect low back and creating space and then wrapping the inner elbows forward and almost hugging the forearms towards each other <clears throat> That'll create a lot of space in the shoulders and upper back area. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, completely empty. Let's bring the feet to touch the back of the mat. Inhale, sends the right leg towards the sky, just hip height. Keep that baby toe rolling down and keep your chest moving towards your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale, empty. Press the pads of your fingers in towards the mat. Exhale, brings it down, left leg lifts. Hip height, baby toe rolling down, press through that back leg. Keep your hip, heel grounded, <clears throat> leg square, downward facing dog. Inhale fully. Exhale, start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Soft knees forward fold, karate chop the inner elbows, tuck your chin, let the body dangle. Again, knees micro bent or bent a lot, depending on your body. Working for a low back stretch here. 
Shifting the weight into the toes will help increase that low back stretch. Giving your head a nod and a shake. Make sure there's no tension in the neck. <clears throat> Inhale fully. Fill the belly onto the thighs. Exhale, empty. Rest your torso down. One more. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melt. I'm going to ground the right hand. Bend both knees. Take the left hand all the way up. See if you can start to straighten into that left leg. Draw your shoulders back and down. Keep pressing the right hand into the mat and lengthening up through that left. Nice long arms here. Exhale, swap it out. Left hand reaches down, right hand reaches up. That right leg starts to straighten, shifting weight back into that right foot as you peel the chest back. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, walk forward into plank pose. Shoulders over wrists, heels drawing to the back, hips in line with shoulders. And then take your tailbone, tuck it down and in. Pull your tummy in. Connect low ribs. Inhale. Hold it here. Four more breaths. Two more. You've got this. Use the knees if you need to. Hug the body in towards midline. Pull it all in. Two. One. Down dog. Press back. Walk the feet towards the hands. One step, two steps, ten steps, half a lift. Peel the shoulders back, bent knees. Exhale, pour the body down. Ground through the feet, stand all the way up. Draw the shoulders to the ears. Inhale. Exhale, some CDE equals standing feet. Pubic plate lifts, tailbone drops. Low ribs pull in. Fingers actively reaching the floor. Let's peel all ten toes up off the mat. Have a look down. Spread them wide. One toe at a time. Wrap it back down. Rip the mat with your feet. Take one inhale here. Exhale. Open mouth. Let that go. Hands reach up. Grab hold of that left wrist with the right hand. Gently tip over towards the right. Press your hips to the left. Keep your shoulders square. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, swap your grip over to the right. Hips to the left. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, cactus arms. Lift the heart. Squeeze your thighs in. Try not to stick your bum out. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, gentle swan dive brings it down. Inhale, heart peels forward, shoulders back. Exhale, hands ground, right foot only, back of the mat, drop down onto your knee. Come into a low lunge here. Inhale, peel the chest forward. And then exhale, send your hips back over your right heel. Peel the left toes up if you'd like or keep them grounded. Inhale, shift forward, drop the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, sends it back. Nice work. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Use your breath. Move through your breath with your body. Inhale, sends it forward. We're going to ground the hands, lift that back foot, step back, plank pose. And again, holding it here. Hips in line with shoulders, tailbone tucked. Pressing through the shoulders, almost separating the shoulder blades and pulling the collarbones towards each other. Activate the forearms. Two. One down dog. Nice work. Inhale fully. Exhale. Give your head a nod and a shake. Make sure there's no tension in the neck. Take an inhale here, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Come back to our runner's lunge now so that back knee is lifted. And then same thing as we did before, take an out breath and press the hip back. This time that right knee is lifted. Inhale, coming forward. Fingertips stay down, come into runner's lunge. Heart peels forward, hips drop. 
Exhale, sends it back. Inhale, we're going to come into standing L. So ground that left leg, shift forward, weight into the left foot, right leg reaches up. Keep the heel drawn back, fan the toes, and keep that right hip pulling down towards your left heel. Soft bend in the left knee if you need to. Fingers can be grounded for support. Inhale. And then straight right leg meets left foot. Half a lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, slowly stand all the way up. Reach to the sky. Right hand. Left wrist, reach over. Inhale to center. Exhale, hinge the other way. Inhale to center, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms, lift the heart, gentle back bend if it serves you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, heart forward, knees bent. Exhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat, knee drops down, heart peels forward as the hips drop. Exhale, send it back. Always taking your gaze forward. Inhale forward, maybe even up, like an up dog through the chest. Exhale back. When we start to look down, we have a rounding of the shoulders, a doming of the back. We want to really work to reverse that hips drop, chest peels, find that proudness of your practice, of your body moving on your mat. Inhale forward, back knee tucks and lifts. Step back, plank pose. And again, activate the forearms, press through the fingertips. Fire up those arms, the shoulders, draw your heels back, squeeze your inner thighs in towards each other. Spiral your thighs. Everything is working and your gaze is forward. If you look down, we become heavy. Look forward and find that momentum. Three. Two, nice work, down dog. Beautiful. Let's take the right leg up, inhale. And we're gonna step the right foot in between the hands, come into our runner's lunge so that back knee stays lifted and we're just gonna pulse this out. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, send it back. Get nice and stretchy in our practice today. Inhale forward, lengthen and lift. Exhale, sends it back. Nice, coming into that standing L, shifting forward, ground the right foot to prepare, shift weight, left foot comes 90 degrees. So left hip is fully square to the mat. Toes are active, thighs pulling in towards its bone. Shoulders drawing back, our gaze is forward, you got it, inhale. Straight left leg meets right foot, keep the hips lifted, keep the navel pulling in and see if we can land that foot heel toe. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, pour it down. Let's build onto that a little bit, inhale, bend the knees, stand all the way up. Left wrist, right hand. Feeling over, opening up, stay here, one extra breath. Inhale fully into your left lung. Exhale, completely empty the air into the right. Both feet grounded, toes pulled up. Inhale, come back to center, nice work. Exhale the other way. Breathe into your right lung. Breathe out of your left, crunch it in. Toes lift, knees strong, inhale, come all the way back up, exhale, cactus the arms. Maybe take your hands to the low back, lift your hips a little higher, and lean into it. Keep your chin gently tucked. Inhale, come all the way back up, nice work, reach the arms high, exhale, pour it down, swan dive. Inhale, chest peels forward, half a lift, stepping back with the right foot, knee drops down. We're going to sweep the arms all the way up this time. Bring the palms to touch or maybe interlace all fingers. Release the index and thumb. And then lengthen up through the shoulders. See if we can reach up through the heart. And then gently, if it serves you, start to lean back in towards your back leg. Keep lifting the heart. 
actively pulling through the hips. Find length in the spine, inhale, exhale, vertical twist, your left hand leads, drop it down and around. Nice. Similar, take the left hand to the back knee, reach up with that right hand, and then pull the right shoulder back into its socket, square it off through the left. Keep lifting and lengthening up, lunging into that front hip, nice work. Exhale, let's ground the right hand, take the left hand to the sky. Low twist, tuck that back toe, lift it up, reach it high. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears. Left hand grounds, low lunge. Straighten pyramid pose, left leg straight, right hip rolls down. Standing L, fingertips walk forward, shift weight into the left foot, bend the knee, reach the right foot up. Now we're once again getting ripped around the right hand. Find that twist just as we were, but this time with the standing leg. Reach your left leg open, revolt, half moon pose. Beautiful, exhale, left leg. The left hand grounds, inhale, lift the chest, half lift, and then fold, standing split. Bring your forehead towards your left shin, fingertips either they stay grounded or wrap around that left leg. Inhale, half lift, and again, keep the hip lifted, draw the navel in, flex the foot, and prepare, we're gonna take a right, straight right leg, heel lands first, then the toe. Inhale, half a lift, that might take some practice. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, reach to the sky, interlace all fingers, release the thumbs. Exhale, hinge to the right. Stay here, one extra breath, pull that right shoulder forward, left rib rolls back, inhale. Exhale, fully empty, reach, 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 reach. Inhale to center. Exhale, hinge in the other way. Pulling now back on the Right shoulder, left rolls forward, inhale. Exhale, reach, 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 reach. Inhale to center, reach. Up, exhale, cactus arms, squeeze, lift. Hands release the lower back if you did before, wrap the elbows in and press the hips forward. Activate your legs, strong legs here. Inhale, come all the way back up. Hands to heart. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work, inhale, peel the chest forward, half a lift. Left side, put steps back. Knee stays lifted, inhale. Nice work. Exhale. Pyramid pose, straighten into that right leg. Left hip rolls down. Inhale, bend, ground the left hand, take the right hand to the sky, find your twist. <clears throat> Nice work, left hand grounds. And straighten into that right leg one more time. <clears throat> Shift weight forward, left finger stay grounded. Left hip reaches up, toes reaching down. So we're in our standing L. And then we're gonna peel that right chest open to the right. As we would find revolved moon. Nice work. Let's bring it all the way down. I know I got a little out of order here. That's all right. Lengthen. We're just drop back down onto that left knee. And then arms reach all the way up, finding our moon pose. Interlace all 10 fingers. Release thumb and index. Lift and lengthen. Peel the hips together. Lift your heart. Lean back. Exhale. Find center. Right hand leads the way. Twist it open. Beautiful. Let's take the right hand back towards that left thigh. Reach up and then plug the left shoulder back into its socket. Revolve so that your chest is square towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Bring it all the way back down. Tuck that back toe. Step forward with a straight leg. Half a lift. A little out of order, but we got it all covered. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work. Ulkatasana, bend the knees, sit low, arms reach up. 
draw the navel in, tuck the tailbone, lift through the heart. Exhale, sweep the arms back, chest forward, fingers active, triceps pulling back. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, reach up, stand up, press through the legs, gently start to draw a line on the ceiling, find your back bend here. Inhale, reach up, exhale, swan down. Let's move through that whole sequence one more time. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, ground fingers, right foot steps back, knee drops down. Crescent moon arms, reach up, lunge into that front knee. Make sure that left knee is over the ankle and not farther. Vertical twist, left side leads. Revolve twist, left hand to that right thigh, reach up, plug the shoulder back. Lift and lengthen. Nice work, left hand grounds next to the right hand grounds next to the left foot. Reach up. Beautiful. Left hand comes down, toe tucks, find the length, extend the pyramid, straighten your left hand, your left leg. Inhale, find space, lengthen the crown of the head forward. Exhale, chin to shin, fold. Inhale, shift forward. Hands stay grounded, standing L. Feel the left hand up. Option to stay here, or if you would like to play, bend that back knee, reach the hand for the foot, and then peel the chest forward, roll the shoulder back. Nice work, inhale. Exhale, gently release your grip. Forward full top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, brings it down. Inhale, half lift. <clears throat> Exhale, chair pose. Activate the midline, pull the whole body in towards your belly button. Take your gaze towards your fingertips. Exhale, airplane arms. Maybe come up onto the toes this time. Really work to stack your heels. Drop it down, arms reach up. Inhale. Exhale, back heels lift. Inhale, chair pose, arms lift. Last one, arms sweep back, heels lift as high as they can. Squeeze the body in towards itself. Chair pose, stand up, inhale. Exhale, gentle back bend. Inhale to center, hands to heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, peel forward. Exhale, left foot steps back. Anjali Asana. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist right side leads. Drop the right hand down, lift the left arm up, pull the shoulder back in, lift and lengthen. Beautiful. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up, find that twist. Draw your shoulder blades together, peel your heart forward. Right hand grounds, toe lifts, extended pyramid, shift it back. Inhale, low lunge, ground the left hand. Uh, sorry, standing out. I don't know why I can't remember it on this side. Left heel, left hip rolls down. Now ground the left hand, peel the right arm open. You did the other side, find that play, bend the knee, reach the right hand, find the inner left arch of the foot, and then peel the shoulder back and away, kick into the hand, see if we can roll that right lung open. Take your gaze either to the floor, or over that right shoulder. Nice work. Gently release the foot. Forward fold. Inhale, half a lift, find length. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, ground the hands. Step, walk, or hop. High plank pose. Wrap the elbows in. Your very first and only Chaturanga Dandasana. You're welcome. Halfway down, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. 
Let's take the right leg up, bend the knee, fan the hip. And then sweeping your right foot through, extending the left leg back. Inhale up onto your fingertips. Exhale, bring it down. Nice work. One more inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Bring the hands back below the shoulders. Peel it up. Let's drop into that right hip. Sweep your left leg around out to the front. Right knee wraps that left knee. Sit up nice and tall. And then exhale. Let's rinse it out. Inhale, come all the way back. We're going to find a forward fold. Left ankle crosses right. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, pours it down. Beautiful. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Either sweep your feet to the side, roll over your ankles. Knee downward facing up. Right away, left leg rises, inhale, bend the knee, fan the hip, open it up, and find half pigeon left side. Find the length, slide that right leg back, inhale, exhale, bring it down. One more inhale. Open mouth, let that go. Hands back below shoulders. Inhale all the way up. Drop down onto the hips. Sweep that left leg through. Sorry, right leg through. Hook the knee. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale, rinse. Beautiful. Inhale, coming all the way back around. Right chin in front of left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Let's rock back, draw the knees together, shins parallel to the mat, toes fanning out, heart lifts, rock forward just a little bit here. Fingers are reaching the front, toes actively peeling open. Three, two, lift your heart. One, low boat, open it up, hold it here. For five. Four, three, two, one. Head and shoulders down, knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big tight hug and a squeeze. And then place the feet flat onto the floor, hands alongside the body, bridge pose. Press into the feet, lift the hips, shimmy the shoulders under, interlace the hands. Roll your chin away from your chest. Roll your chest to meet your chin and lift your hips higher. Hug the thighs in the direction of each other. Create space in the low back. Inhale, come all the way back down. Take happy baby, feast fingers, big toes or inside, outside arch. Draw the thighs parallel to the torso. Lift the heart just enough to flatten the spine, tailbone down. Nice 
high sword today, yogis. Hug the knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Head, neck, and shoulders. Let's take a gentle spinal twist. Knees to the right. Left arm opens. Inhale comes back to center. Exhale, opening the other way, twisting towards the left. Inhale, coming all the way back to center. Hug the knees in one final time. Let's just take 10 breaths with the feet into the air. Find that elevated, making fists under the hips. 10 full breaths here. Finally, preparing the body for Shavasana. Removing toxins from the legs the hips, as we build muscle and we work our muscle, opens, tears, and then releases toxins so that as it builds, it builds stronger, healthier muscles. It's really important to find some sort of way to flush the system before we nourish it with our delicious food of the day, repairing and healing muscles. Go ahead and bend your knees, draw your knees into your chest one final tight hug and squeeze. And then exhale, open the legs out, let the feet flop, shimmy the shoulders under, maybe even palms roll open, fingertips curl in. So allowing the breath to move freely and naturally through the entire body. Feeling the softness as it washes through Feel the entire body relaxing onto the mat. Let your eyeballs close. Let the room around you become darker. And darker and darker as your awareness moves deeper and deeper into your consciousness. Because yoga was designed hundreds of years ago to prepare the body for meditation, this is why we find it so comfortable and relaxing to be in Shavasana at the end of our practice. So we're doing exactly what yoga was designed to do, the asana side of yoga, the physical practice. So we're preparing our body to heal on deeper levels than our consciousness is aware of. Once we start to guide our thoughts or direct them in one or another, we're losing the pieces of the practice which could ultimately be healing us the most. So I invite you now to rather than try to not think about anything, let whatever comes up move through. Stay neutral, stay passive, like air bubbles from the bottom of the sea, just allow them to release and make their way to the surface so that they can fully disappear. Sometimes one thought or emotion has multiple air bubbles, but continue to allow them to make their way to the surface and release. Sometimes there's lots of little bubbles and sometimes there's one giant one, which typically brings with it a lot more emotion, sometimes tears, and that's perfectly fine. We 
when you're ready. Take a full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms overhead. Take a full body on. And then slowly, with complete control, make your way onto whichever side serves you. And gently guide yourself all the way to your seat. Draw the palms to place at your heart. Press your thumbs into your sternum and then press your sternum back into your thumbs. Feel the adjustment in your posture right away. It's always an honor and a pleasure to guide you through each and every one of these practices. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing, not only with me, but with each other. And most importantly, with yourself. I wish you an amazingly beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you, lovelies. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you very soon.